Obviously, the entire country has been shocked and heartbroken by what happened in Charleston. The apparent motivations of the shooter remind us that racism remains a blight that we have to combat together. We have made great progress, but we have to be vigilant because it still lingers. And when it's poisoning the minds of young people, uh, it betrays our ideals and tears our democracy apart. But as much as we grieve this particular tragedy, I think it's important, as I mentioned at the White House, to step back and recognize these tragedies have become far too commonplace. More than 11,000 Americans were killed by gun violence in 2013 alone. 11,000. If Congress had passed some common sense gun safety reforms after Newtown, after a group of children had been gunned down in their own classroom, reforms that 90 percent of the American people supported, we wouldn't have prevented every act of violence, or even most. We don't know it would have prevented what happened in Charleston. No reform can guarantee the elimination of violence, but we might still have some more Americans with us. At the very least, we should be able to talk about this issue as citizens, without demonizing all gun owners who were overwhelmingly law-abiding, but also without suggesting that any debate about this involves a wild-eyed plot to take everybody's guns away.